Hey everyone, this is Deb. Well, we are on day seven of our 25 days of Christmas. And um, I wanted to come on and show you how to make this cool little box now or bag. Now, I've shown you like um, some boxes and bags uh, before that look similar. This is a little different, um, pretty simple to make. So I want to show you how to make this. Now I just want to show you. So I'm going to untie it. And this is just a piece of six by six cut down to six by five. But then look how I'm going to take our little string will come off. And then this is how it opens. Isn't that cool? There's like this nice little pouch and you could put little treats in there, candy. I was thinking if you took it to like somebody like elderly that has a bird feeder, you could put like a bag of bird food in there for them to go out and feed the birds, you know, just all kinds of fun things. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make this and it's fast. So the only thing you need, we're gonna need one piece of 12 by 12 and a piece of five inches by six inches. Okay, so this was a piece of six by six and I just took an inch off. All right, so we're gonna do some scoring and then we're just gonna assemble it. So let me show you. All right, so we're gonna bring in our scoreboard and here is our piece of 12 by 12. There we go, so you guys can see. All right, so what we're gonna do is on this side, we are going to score it at three inches and nine inches. You know, this would this would make two if you have like like DSP, you know, paper like this that you haven't used. Um, you know, you could give it to coworkers or your postman. I mean, just again, right? Lots of different ways, lots of different things you could fill it with. Okay, so we did three inches, nine inches. Now we're rotating it and we are going to do, we are going to score it five inches and seven inches. Da, 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 da. That's it. Now we're gonna take our piece that is six inches by five inches, okay? And on the five inch long side, you are gonna score it at two and a half. And that's it. All right, let's get uh, busy folding. All right, so you need a bone folder, that'll help you. But because we are doing this with designer paper, you don't wanna go crazy because um, it will, you know, you don't wanna rip your paper. So this, our smaller piece, it's just gonna go in half, all right? Pick the side on the outside that you want to show uh, when you score. All right, so now we have our big piece of, uh, of designer paper and I want this on the outside. So the two, the, at the three inch, oops, let me go this way. At the three inch score mark, I'm gonna bring it over and at the, the nine inch. Okay, so I'm just folding those two in. You honestly, you guys could really use your, you know, just your fingers, I guess, if you wanted to. Okay, and then the other one is the two middle ones. So we're just gonna score those. Again, if you wanna get them a little more flat, you run your bone folder over them. All right, so now this is what we, this is what we do, this is what we have to do next. All right, so we're going to, so let me, let me make sure, so I'm gonna bring in, okay, so we have these two sides right here, right? Okay, so what I wanna do is I want to bring this, Sure, I get this right. Okay, I want to bring this side. Um, let me, I'm sorry, I want to bring this side up. Okay, so I want to bring this side here up like so. Okay, so basically, you're going to take this outside corner and you are just going to bring it up to this piece of paper. Oh, oh, I take that back. I'm sorry. I told you wrong. I want, <laughs> okay, let me make sure. Let me make sure I got it right. I think that's, I think that's, 
think that's right. Nope, I want this corner. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so we have these two sides, right? So I want to bring this corner, the one closest to the page, and I'm going to bring that up to this. Um, oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Ah! Stand by! Stand by! Okay. Why am I struggling with this so much? Okay, hold on. There, okay. I had it right. Okay. I had it right. For some reason, it just didn't look right. All right, so I'm going to take this corner right here, and I'm just going to bring it up so it aligns, okay, with this outside edge here, and then I am going to crease it. I know, are you guys like totally confused? That's going to get cut out, but I can't cut when I'm alive, right? Okay, so here we go again. Okay, so we have these, these two, two score lines here. I'm taking the, the one at the top and I'm just kind of twisting it a little bit and bringing it to the edge. All right, we're gonna do it a bunch more times. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna take the one closest to the piece that I'm gonna lift it up over and I'm going to fold it up and bring it up and over, like, like so. Okay, so it's like that. I know it seems so complicated, doesn't it? But it really is not complicated. But I've made it complicated. All right, so now we're gonna take this corner and do the exact same thing. Take it and bring it up, okay? And then once it's there, once it's aligned right here, okay, so aligned on that edge, can you guys hopefully see that? So once it's aligned on that edge, then I'm gonna go to the inside and I'm just gonna make sure it's straight and then I'm just gonna push down on that or use my bone folder, right? Okay, and then we have one more, this side, we got it. So we have, we're folding it in, we take this corner and we're just gonna rotate it right up. And it's funny too, okay, so I'm left-handed, I think you guys all know that. And um, it's, I'm sorry, the other, it's like the left side's easier for me to do. So I probably should have started with the left side, right? Instead of the right side. Um, all right, so this is what you should have when you're all set. It's like a little boat. Now, you don't have to do any gluing, but I will say I think it holds a little better if you glue this area here. So you got this kind of... Um, I can't think of what that's called. I want to say polygon, but I don't. I know that's not right. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some adhesive here. I think I'm going to take some adhesive, and we're going to glue this down. And again, you you only want to do it on just this last little triangle part here. And you don't even need a lot. You could just do a little bit. And you're just gonna glue that down, move it over, and we're gonna do the same thing on these two, on these two sides. Again, just a little bit of adhesive. And then we'll go over here, same thing. So it's just within those one score lines. And what you've done, and again, you don't have to do that. It will stay together without the adhesive. So this is, and then look what you have. It's like forms that little pocket right there. And then, now, if you want, you can keep it just like this. Bring these two together. And then you'll notice the little pockets kind of come out a little bit. So on mine, I did take them and just take my finger like that and just kind of pushed them in a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit to crease them. Now what you do is you're going to take your half piece of paper and this I suggest you glue one side. Now, you guys can do this a couple different ways. You can 
um, you can put holes in it like I did on this one. And if you have one of those crocodiles, I would suggest maybe you use that. And then you can poke through everything. This one I used a regular like oops, office punch and it was not very strong. And I ended up having to punch every each one individually. So I'm not sure I got the best lineup, so to speak. Um, but it worked. Uh, so I would just say, um, you know, if you want to put holes, oh, there's our little dog. If you want to put holes in it, then, um, you know, you might need a stronger, a stronger hole punch um, to get those, to get those in. Um, so anyhow, so we're going to do something a little different on the other one. Uh, <clears throat> but I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you that on this one, we did the holes and then tied a bow and it makes for a nice little package. This one, we're gonna put adhesive on one side and more just at the top, all right? Because all we really wanna do is make it so that the lid will be attached. So when someone opens it, they won't, the lid won't like be completely separated from your from your package. So now what you could do is, um, so now it just opens up and there's the contents inside. You could put a belly band around it or a little um, clasp of some sort if you wanted. Uh, so it's totally up to you. And then you could decorate this as well. But that was it. That's what I wanted to, to share with you today for um, our 25 Days of Christmas, number seven. Uh, but again, super, super easy when you remember how to fold up the corners. Um, but other than that, you guys, literally, it's your scoreboard and you can use your paper trimmer scoring as well. Uh, but you just make those, you're going to score it three inches and nine inches on one side and then five inches and seven inches on the other side. And then for your piece of smaller um, DSP, you just do six inches by five inches, and then you score it two and a half. Um, what I found is when you left it at just three inch, you know, like a piece of six by six, it just came down too far, and you didn't, get, you kind of missed all this designer series paper. The other thing you could do is just tie a big bow around it. So, but I loved it. I thought it was super cute, and you could fit all kinds of fun things in there. If you guys are doing cookie ex exchanges, you know how you do cookie exchanges? If you wanted to put yours, not just on a plate, or if you're making fudge, you could put it in a little baggie and then put them in here. I thought that'd be super cool too. Who wouldn't like to get that, right? It's adorable. You could even fit like the recipe card probably in there, you know, because it would stick up. How about that? All right, so we're done. That was it. That's all I wanted to show you. This is what it looks like when it's all done, and it is an awesome uh, little bag that you can have. Um, so uh, tomorrow, I hopefully will be back here with day number eight, and then um, Saturday I will be probably a little late, um, but because um, Saturday is our like kind of little Christmas party for customers here. So that'll be fun. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining and we will talk to you later. See ya. Bye.